Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another legal question jump game. So the question as given an array of non-negative integers, you are initially positioned at the first index of the array. So we are positioned over here. This is our starting uh, point. And uh, each element in the array um, represents your maximum jump length at that position. So if I'm here, uh, I can jump two spots from here. So that's what this number represents here. So that's the jump size. Um, and we have to determine if we're able to reach the last index. Okay, so let's look at this problem and try to solve it manually. If I have a two here, I could go two steps, one, two, and then I have a one here, and then I can go one more. And yes, I am able to reach from this starting position to this ending position. So all we need to do is to find out if I can go from the position A to the position B. Um, and let's look at a case where we can't. So here uh, I can go three steps. So I will go one, two, three. And since this number is zero, I'm stuck because this is this is my step size, and I'm not able to reach the position B, which is four, which is the last element um, of the array. So in this case, we need to return a false, um, and if we're able to reach um, the four from the starting position, we can return a true. So that's what the question is asking in a nutshell. Now let's look at some ways we can approach this problem and apply an optimal solution. The big idea that we need to understand to solve this problem in an optimal way is to understand the relationship between um, the indexes and each of the step size. Uh, so what do I mean here? So let's say here I've put my indexes 0, 1, 2, 3. And at index 0, I can see that my step size is zero and in order for me to move forward the maximum amount of steps I can take is zero. So at this next at this next position I can say that okay if my step size zero is less than the maximum step size which in this case is zero is less than my index one then there is no way I can go from the start to finish because my path is already not going to work in the first spot. So taking this idea one step forward, let's look at another similar example. Uh, here we have a step size of uh, one in the first um, spot. Okay, great, so that means I can move forward in here. And this index is also one. So uh, over here, we we if we kept a max, so what is my maximum step size that I can take from this position? So it's one, and then at our next position, we have um, negative six. So seven, negative seven plus one is negative six. So our max is still one. And when we try to go over here to our next index, which is two. We can see that our step is, which is one, which is the maximum amount of steps that we can go from here to here, is still less than our index, which is two. So there is no way that we can go from our start to end if we have a blocker in the middle. So if I can't reach each of my um, spots in the array, um, then I can I can safely say that there is no way that I can reach the end. And that's the same logic that we will use to solve this problem. So what we need to do in summary is calculate the max number of steps from each position. And this is to determine what is my maximum reach. And if my index is less than my maximum reach, then we already know that we can't reach that middle position and therefore we can't reach the end. So that's the logic we, we're going to use.
Great, so I'm back in LeetCode and the first thing I'm gonna do is initialize my max steps to the first element in the array because that's the number of steps we can take from that position. So I will say max steps equals nums at index zero. So this will get me the first element. And then what we need to do is iterate over our um, nums array and we need to check if that max steps is less than our index. So to iterate over the array, I'm just going to say for i in range and we can start the range from one because we already have our um, first max steps for comparison. So we'll start from one and we'll go to the end. Okay. And now we need to do our check. So if max steps is less than our current index, that means there is no way to reach that position. And therefore, we cannot reach the end position. So we're going to return false. And the last thing we need to do is we need to reset our max steps to the next higher max. So if there is a higher max at um, the current position, then we need to compare that max with our next index when we iterate over um, our nums array. So max steps will equal to max of max steps. So this is just the previous max steps. And we will get the element in our current position. So to do that, we can just do nums i. And we're going to add the index at that current position. OK, so we got our max steps. And the last thing we need to do is uh, return true. If all of these passes, so it looks good. Let's run code. Accept, submit. Okay, awesome, that works. If you like this video and um, enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, happy coding.